I've been getting some very good questions lately in the comments. And one of the most recent questions I got was whether or not fungus, koi and fish fungus was contagious. And uh, the answer to that question was so uh, interesting to me. And I was like, oh, I've got to do a video on that. So this video is going to be pretty short because I have another video or two that are, you know, broad and in detail on fungus. But to the specific answer of the question, whether or not um, koi and fish fungus is contagious, the answer is yes and no, as always. <clears throat> so first, uh, as far as human contamination is concerned, fish fungus is not transmissible to people. The uh, most common fish fungus that we're talking about would be a, a fungus called saprolegnia. And uh, there will be pictures in this video. I'm just doing the audio track right now. Um, is saprolegnia, and that can't get people. Uh, I don't even think it can get you if you're immune compromised, like on chemo or have some sort of other immune depressive disorder. There's another fungus that's much less common uh, that is also not transmissible to people, and that's branchiomyces. Uh, so let's just suffice it to say that if your question is whether or not koi and fish fungus is transmissible to people uh, or contagious to people, then the answer would be no. Well, then the, it's a yes or no answer to whether or not koi and fish fungus is transmissible to each other. Uh, because in most collections where it appears, you'll see it in multiple fish. Well, here's the thing. Um, fi fungus is not a primary infection. The, the saprolegnia fungus is always in your, your pond or aquarium, constantly. And the only way it gets onto or into your fish is if the fish is stressed uh, pretty badly, not just a little, uh, pretty badly stressed, either chilled or overcrowded or de chronically deprived of oxygen, any of the things that are covered in the 20 steps. Um, stressed and then a break in the skin can be parasites, a scratch on a rock, uh, breeding behavior, um, handling. And then in those uh, defects in the skin, you can have fungus. So, But see, the thing is, all the fish are exposed to that same stress. So it looks like the fungus jumped from one fish to the next fish, but in fact, they were all made vulnerable to it at the same time which is actually the reason why when you see a fungus outbreak, you'll see, you know, the five or six weakest fish with it, and there will be a group of fish that don't have it at all or don't seem to have it, and that's because they've handled the stress better than the other fish. So the fungus is not really contagious from fish to fish. In other words, well, not even. It's not even technically not contagious. Fish A does not get fungus from fish B. Fish A and fish B seem to get the disorder at the same time because they do from the environment and the conditions that predispose it in the environment. Treatments for fungus is in another video, but that's the answer to the question of whether or not fish fungus is contagious. Thanks.